Well, there was a church in San Francisco who, after the day after Christmas, the pastor was out around the church grounds and looking around and noticed, wait a minute, I see the nativity scene is missing something. Well, on a closer look, the baby Jesus was missing from the nativity season that the church had put up for the Christmas season. And he began to wonder what had happened. Where was the baby Jesus? Well, all of a sudden he said, you know what, folks, we've got to get together. We've got to find the baby. We've got to find the baby. And everybody began to ask around, have you seen the baby? Do you know where the baby, who took the baby? What happened to the baby? We've got to find the baby. Well, around the corner, there was a little boy pulling a little red wagon and the pastor noticed something inside the red wagon. Ah, uh, on closer examination, discovering there was the baby Jesus. Come here to the little boy, he said, well, where did you get this uh, little baby, my fine friend? And the boy said, I got it from the church. Oh, really? And uh, why did you take the baby from the nativity scene? Well, he said, before Christmas, I prayed that the Lord would send me a little red wagon for Christmas. And if I got that little red wagon, I promised him I would take him for a ride. <laughs> the real question is, have you found the baby Jesus? Today, we're celebrating the very spirit of Christmas. Have you found the baby has some very metaphysical and symbolic meaning for the journey of our lives in our spiritual walk? Asking that question on a day-to-day -day basis, have I discovered this Christ awareness? Have I found the Christ consciousness? Has it been born anew within my heart and my life? You see, the very object of sacred writings all through time has been to convey a higher meaning and a higher knowledge by simply using some ordinary things, ordinary stories. So what we find here in the story in Matthew, uh, we find the unfolding of this Christ child of birth taking place, having such a deeper meaning than the literal words of a story of a simple family giving birth to a child. It has a deeper meaning for our lives. How sad it is that we have always approached scripture from such a surface level of literalism and a shallowness of not understanding the depth of what it means for our life and the teaching it's meant to bring to our day-to-day -day experience. So we think quite often, oh, Christmas is all about celebrating this birth of this wonderful man named Jesus who came to this earth. And, and so we sort of make it so human and we miss out on the power and the deeper teaching the sacredness that's intended for our lives in the message to be unfolded within our lives. And instead, we struggle with all the contradictions and absurdities we find in Bible stories when we read them literally. Ah, but when we move beyond the literalism, when we move beyond the black and white, shall we say, to go deep within, to find the metaphysical understanding, meta meaning beyond the physical, beyond the black and white, beyond the literalism, to see the teaching that those who wanted to convey to our world and to find it deep within our hearts and our lives and to experience it personally and how important that is. You see, quite often we've just looked at the surface and we've missed the spiritual depth beyond the physical that is intended for us. So we find here that the question is, are we looking for the baby? Where is the baby? Well, what is this baby? It's symbolic of this newborn awareness within our lives. The story is simply using this wonderful family, Joseph and Mary, to unfold for us a greater understanding of what's meant for us on a day-to-day -day basis to birth a greater awareness, to birth, to have something rise up within us, a consciousness of the divine within our lives. It's meant to be born within our hearts and meant to be celebrated within. Yet so often all about Christmas is celebrating outside. Oh, so many of our neighbors have been putting up decorations and all kinds of uh, creations and balloon inflated snowmen and Santa Clauses and uh, colorful reindeer and lights going everywhere. And we think Christmas is celebrated outside. Christmas celebrated outside of the heart, outside of within. But the true essence of it is happens deep within our hearts and our lives. 
This is where we begin, for we understand that everything from a spiritual context begins within. Some have been looking to churches, spiritual communities, various different traditions to find, wait, someone fill me with this awareness. I want to find it outside. I'm looking high. I'm looking low. I'm looking everywhere I can to find it. Someone give it to me. There are those who said, I need to go to the highest mountain and find the greatest guru, or I need to find a spiritual place, somewhere, a sacred ground. But here it is. It's always found deep within. The number one rule of all spiritual teachings is simply this. Never start from the external. Always start with the purifying of the mind within the heart. Go within. That's where every great revolution starts and every great transformation starts. Every great evolution starts. On goes the list. It all begins when we go deep within ourselves versus searching here, there. Do you have it? Do you have the baby? Do you have the baby? Where's the baby? Can I find the baby? Ah, that baby, symbolic of spiritual awareness, awakening, it's within. Let us go there to find it every single day within our lives. Let me tell you, there's nothing like a newborn. There's nothing like a birth. Oh, I can tell you that firsthand. I have two lovely children and to be there for that birthing moment was a highlight of my life. You know, the months of anticipation and expectation, the belief that now before you in this birth, you hold within your arms and caress the possibilities for this child and what it will bring to your life. And so it is the same as we understand the birth is this wonderful moment of holding within our arms the possibilities of all that is available to us as a child of God. This is the birthing, an awareness. I am living a life of great possibilities. I am living a life of the very message that Jesus brought of abundance. I am living the very life that Jesus brought for us of eternal life in joy and peace and happiness. And I'm living it right here and now. And I'm birthing that within me. For there's nothing like the birth of Christ consciousness within our hearts. What happens then is this wonderful moment of saying, I really have something called spiritual awareness. That's what it is. This moment when you're saying, wow, I guess I didn't realize that I could be very spiritually aware, aware of God's love, aware of God's goodness, aware of God's joy, aware of the good that's always around me, in me, through me, and always for me. Today in our Advent candle, we have lit the candle of love. There is the wonderful joy of expectancy within our hearts, a candle of joy, a candle of peace today, a candle of love, all summing up what it is when we birth this Christ within us. We embrace the possibilities of immense joy, of immense peace, of immense love, and the power of expectancy at work within our lives. This is the great experience that we can have within our lives, for it's born in our consciousness, born in our awareness, born in our hearts, in our very minds, this very understanding, God with us, Emmanuel. That's right. The name Emmanuel, meaning God with us, it's birthed within us. And that is a beautiful understanding to have, no matter where you're going through life, to awaken to this truth. God's with me. God's got me. I'm with this power and strength. It is flowing in me and through me. And no matter what challenge I'm facing, no matter what obstacle is coming, no matter what 2021 may bring, because 2020 brought us a lot of challenges, a lot of things and obstacles to overcome. Ah, but God is with us. And I'm fully aware of the possibilities as I birth this consciousness of fresh and new within my life. We say we birthed it afresh and new. Why? Because Christmas is meant to be spent and celebrated every single day. We regulate all the Christmas joy to December 25th. Uh, we try to drag out the commercialism from September 1st until December 25th. But the real joy we want to celebrate is anticipating this wonderful day of Christmas and coming together. But yet that could be celebrated every single day. The joy, the peace, the love, the power of expectancy that Christmas is, is meant to be experienced every day. 
when we find the baby, when we find the baby meaning the awareness, the consciousness, when we found it and it's birthed within our lives, there is a, such a transformation. It is so sad that so many people go through life unaware of the power and presence of God within their life. They just go through the world, the day-to-day -day world, of uh, just living in the experiences of the physical, that which is given to them in sight and touch and taste and hearing, etc. They're just living from that perspective, totally unaware that they could birth within them this amazing consciousness, amazing awareness that the power and presence of God is flowing through my life right now. The infinite possibilities is in you right now. We need to birth that infinite possibilities. Wow. Think of what, how that is so transformational for our life, that we are something so much more than just this human flesh walking this planet. But we are truly spiritual beings having a physical experience. And that spiritual being is something that was, is, and will be. It is eternal. You are this eternal presence moving through this world. And you have a great purpose to be a light. And there's a power that enables you to be just that. And to live life to its fullest. Now, how important it is that we recognize this wonderful power and presence being the very love of God. To recognize, I want to birth a full consciousness. I want to birth a fresh awareness of the love that is God. For God is love, not a being trying to love, meaning God is loving, not something that's trying to love, but is love doesn't have to make any effort because love is what God is. And when we embrace that and birth that within our lives, wow, I birth this love consciousness in me, a fresh new, wow, that's transformational. For those who face challenges with self-acceptance, those who face challenges in the world of being able to love themselves, those who face the challenges of feeling loved and being able to love others, it all begins when we birth this awareness within our life in a fresh new way. I birth this consciousness. Love dwells within me. Love radiates within me. Love is who I am, for I am the revelation of the divine. Wow, that re realization truly makes a transition within our life. For this spirit of love is what Christmas is really all about. Wait, I thought Christmas is about this wonderful shopping list. I thought Christmas was about commercialism. I thought Christmas was all about the food that we share. I thought, no, Christmas was meant and was birthed the whole consciousness of us being aware of divine love in us, through us, around us, for us, to be demonstrated constantly. There's an old tradition of Saint Nick it's found within the European traditions of a bishop who had a heart felt of great compassion and during the season of the winter began to look out for those who were in special need. In particular, gave gifts of support and encouragement to those who were living in poverty and those who had great challenges. On goes in the story of St. Nick that we formed our St. Father Christmas, and then moving on to our Santa Claus and going on into the element of commercialism that has moved us so far away, where we're now at the place where Christmas becomes a nervous, stress-filled time of saying, have I bought the right gift for someone and did I include the return card because uh, the return receipt because they probably won't like it and they're going to return it anyway. You know, how do we come to this place when it's really about birthing love, birthing love and doing things that are demonstrating the very love of God. Christmas is a time of great compassion, care. Christmas to be demonstrated is that the love of God is birthed in me new and fresh. And I want to be generous to those in need. And I want to reach out and touch the lives of those who are feeling and live, that they must live from a sense of lack, knowing that there is abundance for them. It is there, this love is already there within you. I wanna tell you this, it's not something you have to go and look out for, shop for, try to find, or ask somebody to give to you. 
you came equipped. That's right, fully equipped. That's right, you came into this world as a being that is fully equipped with everything that allows you to unfold the divine potential, that allows you to birth and to live and grow as this wonderful revelation of the divine. You came equipped with it so much because you were born and created in the image and the likeness that the essence within you is all the divine good. You came equipped. That's a friend who were able to purchase the HGTV design home. That's right. It was up for sale. It had been given to a, a prize winner and the prize winner said, oh, I don't really want it. What am I going to do with this uh, HGTV home? It's been designed beautifully, but I don't want to live. And in this case, it was the home in Atlanta in the Mandarin Towers in Buckhead. And so it was up for sale and our good friend purchased it. Upon arrival, coming into the house, only to discover it was fully equipped. Wow. I mean, there was furniture, there were drapes, there were towels, there was everything you need, soaps in the bathroom and toilet paper. And there was in the kitchen, all the knives and plates and everything. The house was purchased fully equipped. Wow. I don't need a single thing. It's equipped. And so it is for your life when we understand that you came into this world fully equipped and you don't need another thing. You just need to release, embrace, become aware of all that you've been equipped with. And that divine love is a powerful essence you've equipped, you're equipped with. So let us awaken to it. Let's birth it. Let's find the baby, this Christ consciousness. Spiritual awareness was and is in you, and this is an amazing discovery. And it is our journey to awaken to this wonderful discovery that it's born in our consciousness. So Christmas is inviting us to be born again. Well, where have we heard this before? The very teaching of Jesus, correct? Jesus saying, ye must be born again. What is this? But to begin afresh, start anew. Where do we, how are we born again? We're born of the spirit. And what is that spirit? The divine essence of God's love. We're born, we're birthing. We are discovering this wonderful baby. Oh, it begins with this moment of great discovery and begins to grow and mature and go from there. But we first have to find the baby. If we're going to raise the baby, if the baby's gonna grow, we first have to find and discover this awareness. We first have to give birth to it. We first have to focus and have consciousness of it. So Christmas every single year is this wonderful occasion to remember, to remind us every single day, am I birthing anew all the goodness of God? Because if I'm not, I'm missing the very essence and the power that is offered to my life. God is working in you, says Philippians 2, 13, giving you the desire and the power to do what is right. God is working in you, and this is this awareness. Wow, let me birth this consciousness. When I'm facing obstacles, when I'm facing challenges, when I'm feeling a sense of loss or feeling in some way lack or separation or feeling in some way not well and whole, God is working in me. God is working in me. The divine power and presence is working in me. Let me birth that consciousness at all times. When we truly find the baby, what happens is that uh, we daily awaken to this knowledge of a Christ consciousness in us. And what happens is we begin to celebrate and begin to acknowledge that there is something greater unfolding in our lives. I love this passage. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Let the thinking, let the consciousness, let the awareness that was in Jesus, who we call the Christ, the Christ meaning fully aware, fully enlightened, a state of understanding and comprehension of the divine truth of God. Let this mind, the same thinking, this same pathway, this same heart and consciousness that was in Jesus be in you. And that's what Christmas is. The wonderful gift of the awareness 
that the same consciousness in Jesus is the same consciousness in us, and we can live and move and operate from this. For as you are awakening, you're gonna to begin to realize that you're not the same person you used to be. That's truly this wonderful evolution. Because once you birth this consciousness within you, I am more than this physical being. Once you birth this consciousness, I am this divine love and essence. Once you birth all that, you find a transition taking place. You're not the same person you used to be. And this is where that baby begins to grow and mature. Spiritual growth begins to happen. You begin to evolve and the things that you used to be are now transformed as you become something greater and better, bigger and larger in spiritual understanding. This birth, metaphysically speaking, well, it actually happens in our lives through a virginal experience. A virginal experience. Wait a minute, let's look at the passage of the birth of Jesus. We find Mary's words of saying to the angel, how can this be? I have not known a man. Because this is so obviously teaching us that the story is a metaphysical story of our spiritual life. How do we birth any kind of awareness? Because we are always looking for the man, symbolic of the physical world around us, to do it for us. I've not known a man, so how could I be this? How could I be pregnant? How could I give birth to something? I've not known something in this physical world because we're called to leave this physical world in thought and move to the spiritual realm, the realm of the divine, the realm of God, with its opportunities for you to know and experience in great confidence and faith, the unfolding of the things not seen, the, that being the evidence of that which you so desire are now unfolding in your life. Do you understand this? That there is nothing physical of this world that is involved in your spiritual life. It is all from within again. It's all not regarding or tied up to the physical, but it begins from the spiritual perspective at all times. What happens is that baby, that Christ consciousness, that awareness, doesn't require anything of this physical world. It simply requires our going within and experiencing the divine, the spiritual truth that's there for us. Mary, the Virgin, symbolizes our spiritual intuition being awakened within us. A feeling of, shall we call it a non-negative state, meaning I'm not negative about anything but a feeling of being receptive and positive about all things. That virginal state is symbolic of your life when you walk into the realm of thinking from the non-negative. That's a purity, a sense of being pure, virginal. Sort of that sense of beginning fresh and new like a child. When we're at this place for the scripture refers to Mary being this young woman, young girl, virginal, pure, but it's symbolic of that intuitive state that we come to in our lives that we may look as a state of virginity in a sense that we are not negative about anything, non-negative. Let's describe what non-negative would mean for our lives. Well, when we're non-negative and saying, no, no, it can't be, it's not possible, what are we? We're in the spirit of lettingness, lettingness, that's right letting all things, allowing. We're in that spirit when we, in sense of purity, we're allowing the goodness of God to work in us and through us. We're truly letting this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. And that mind that's in you, well, let me tell you, your mind is like a parachute and it's only good when it's open, you know? How good is a closed parachute for you when you're dropping 500,000 feet from the air, wherever it may be? Not, not so good. How good is your mind to you if it's not open? So Mary, this virginal spirit that we're called to live from, calls us to have an open mind. That's right, the spirit of letting this. Let's let God speak to us. Let's let the spirit of God lead and guide us. Let's let, truly let, 
all these things unfold within our lives. That virginal essence of Mary also speaks of a complete trust, a complete trust. When she says, behold, the handmaiden of the Lord, let it be done unto me according to your will. That is speaking of us coming to the place of spirit of God, whatever it may be, let it be done unto me according to God's divine will. I allow, I let, I trust in a complete essence for God to work within me. This virginal essence is also described for us in our lives as having a complete, a willing, no reservations, no hesitation, but a willingness. Are you willing to let the divine power and presence of God work through you in such a way that you're not clouding up the very spiritual pipeline with doubts and fears and questions of this physical world, but you're saying, I am letting God flow through me, in me. Let this power and presence now do in me what is necessary as these virginal concepts now rise within us for us to be able to birth a new Christ awareness. And lastly, what we find within this context of Mary's outlook, a virginal purity is that there's an absence of negative resistance, an absence of negative resistance. Negative rationalizing sometimes causes the soul to become, uh, you know, we're going over and over again, resistant to the things of God. And we begin to always look from the negative perspectives in life. Instead of saying, I see an upcoming year, 2021 full of possibilities. I am seeing the unfolding of God's goodness in every opportunity, in every way in this upcoming year. I am seeing it because I am not putting up any kind of resistance to the divine flow, to that which God desires to do in my life. I resist nothing. I surrender. I am in the spirit of lettingness with complete trust and a willingness. This kind of purity is not so much, uh, shall we say, a virtuous as a non-negative. And when one is non-negative, is completely trusting in this spiritual intuition. Here's what I'm saying. This non-negative means there's no negativity. There's no sense of resistance. It is then that which creates this beautiful purity. Not so much virtuous, but it's that, uh, shall we say, in our physical realm, but sending a purity of the heart and of the soul for God to impart within us the seed that brings forth a birth of greater awareness of the divine power of God. So what we want to understand is that this birth also is very personal and it happens to you. You cannot live from the birthing of God's awareness from your pastor, from a spiritual guru, from your mother, from your father, from your dear friends, from your spouse or partner. You can't rely on something as the birthing and awareness from someone else. It must happen within you. It happens as to happen in your heart and in your life. When it does, let me tell you this, when you've truly given birth to Christ's awareness, this awareness of the all good, it's there to stay. It's there to stay. This is the beauty of Christmas in our lives. So I'm asking you today, have you found the baby? Not a physical baby, not a baby in a manger, uh, but the baby that symbolizes a birth within your life of Christ consciousness. Is it born within you symbolizing a greater awareness? Have you let this love then that is born within you permeate your life and flow from you, in you, around you? Have you awakened to what is, what was, and what will be? And that's the divine presence ever with you, never leaving nor forsaking you. This is Christmas. This is the joy of this season. And it is meant to be not reserved for only one day, December 25th, but to be lived out each and every day of our life. We need to talk Christmas in January and Christmas in February. We need to speak of Christmas in July and speak of Christmas in September. On goes the list that we are celebrating this wonderful essence, Christ born afresh and anew in me. Amen.